on BBC Three Counties Radio. Look who's in the studio. Hello, hello. <laughs> Lauren. Or Dee Dee. Dee Dee. And this has only, cha- this has only happened in the last, what, month and a bit? Yeah, it has. Well, we'd have adventures. I was going to say, a roller coaster, <laughs> an absolute roller coaster. We first met you, you first came in six years ago. Yeah. And we have seen you in so many different uh, bands, but then also producing so much as well of, of the artists that come through here. So we kind of really kind of, you know, there's, there's this there's this six-year journey we've had, and but this is the first time it's it's you and no one else in the studio. This is, this is solo stuff. This is crazy. Why, when did that idea happen? When did that? Well, I think for years and years, people have always been like, do your own solo stuff, do your own solo stuff. And I was always like, I'm a terrible singer, so I don't want to inflict that upon anyone. Um, <laughs> I'd also been writing a lot and everything, and I co-write. Um, but I thought, you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna write my own song. And when I did write it, I was like, oh, I don't hate this. And I was like, oh, my God, I, don't, I can sing it all point, right. I know, it? it is. I don't hate this. <laughs> and so, and that was sorry. And that sort of, like, kicked off. And I was like, oh. And then I, I spoke to mum, Hella Meissner, who does, knows everyone, apparently. Um, and she was basically like, we could release this, we could release this. So then from that point onwards, it did. And then people actually liked it. And then I was like, oh, I could do this. But then it seems like only, what, three days later there's another track out <laughs> I mean a real quick turnaround between track one and track two yeah I think I really wanted to hit home with it it's quite hard when you're going from I mean people know me as a producer so I was lucky to have that foundation mm-hmm. but you, I just really wanted to hit the ground running like I had I have so many songs that I just wrote like <laughs> in this week I just wrote so many songs and then two weeks later I released the first one and now four weeks on from that I've released the next one but everything uh, funny enough I, I said this this earlier in the programme tonight everything you're doing is you're, you're packaging it up there's a look there's a style <laughs> there's a colour there's a brand and and as I said earlier that's kind of you have to have, be doing that at the same time as the music don't you And you've, you, but you've got this real quite clear look and style that is is, is Dee Dee Thank you very much. I think it's something that I didn't I've... say it was good. Hang on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry. I'm just I'm way too oh. presumptuous here. <laughs> oh, okay. Was, well, that was, that was mean. <laughs> I was going to say it's sort of like equated from working with lots of different people and working with like Emma McGraw, Minnie Birch, like Lewis Bootle, and everyone like that, and sort of going like, I love that bit about that person, that bit about that person. I know what works. I know what maybe doesn't work. And I've sort of gone like, I'll go with what I like, mm. and it's sort of that's what DD is. Is like an amalgamation of so many things. And the amount of gifts you've you've lobbed out over the last few weeks. <laughs> you know, it's, it's another gif on Twitter. Oh, my God, so many great, gifs. They're great little things. I'm they're glad you call things. it a gif, not a gif. <laughs> a gif. <laughs> Gifing all over Twitter. That's, that's, you got to stop it. you got to stop it. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. There we go. Right. Uh, mm. um, but it's just getting your name out there. It's just getting people just used to you. Mm. And... There's more tracks then. We're there there are more tracks. <laughs> right. Do you know what? That's a bit awkward. Yes. Hey. Hey. <laughs> so what's what's? I mean, are we going to? Is it literally be a couple more days and then another track we get? Or no? Well, I'm still trying to make the most of this one. So the recent single I've just brought out is awkward, and that kind of originated when I was writing the song from a place of maybe a bit of a feminist agenda. Uh-huh. I was writing about something that I had experienced, and I know a lot of my female friends had, and then it sort of snowballed from there. And it was kind of to be talking about people who feel like they can't speak or they don't have a voice, and often minority groups. And then I got, it got adopted by Diva Magazine, which oh, is yes. an LGBT, and I've got like named or crowned the new. LGBT anthem, Q which plus. Q plus. Yeah. You got to you got to add those in. It's, it's important. It's growing. It's growing every. It it's growing every week. And, and that's that's awesome. That kind of you know you've and just this track they've heard they've they've understood. I think that's the thing. It's not just oh it's a nice track. It's not you know they've actually yeah. listened to the lyrics and and took on board what what you're singing about and 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 what you've you know opened your heart up to and. And taking that to, to, to crown it their, their, you know, their anthem is, um, <laughs> is awesome. It's super. I, I'm so surprised. Like, I, I, I can't believe how quickly it's gone off. Like, doing stuff, uh, working on the production and everything, you're in a, a very small bubble, like, because I'm doing all in your the little, artwork, In your little everything. cupboard at home? Literally, yeah. in, in the den. <laughs> <laughs> it's den, not cupboard, yeah, sorry. Probably, yes. Who calls that a cupboard? I, no, well, <laughs> some of us can. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe the pictures I've only seen of it make it look smaller than it is. Fair maybe. enough. It's not yeah. very big anyway, so. <laughs> cupboard, then. There we go. Fine, right. <laughs> So, um, what's next? What's next? I mean, are you thinking of, of getting out and, and gigging a bit? Well, yeah, I've got a tour planned up, which is, I'm calling it the Awkward Tour, and that's right. that's through June, so I have a few of the dates confirmed for, like, Bristol, Already? Daventry, yeah, Cambridge, London, and then I hopefully am doing Brighton, Norfolk, Manchester, Birmingham, 
like just around okay, the so place. For us, closest ish, we've got the London date. When's do you know when that is? That's the twelfth of June. Twelfth of June, and maybe the what was the? And then uh, I've got them playing the horns. Oh, you're in you're the horns. Yeah, I'm in the horns on the fifth. Fifth of June. You don't sound too convinced with that. I'm just trying to remember it. All. You should have brought your notes in. I should have brought. I felt like I could have remembered it, but um, yeah, I'm I'm toting that around, which which is quite good. But part of and what yeah. would that be? You on your own on stage? That is me on my own. I, it took me by surprise more than anyone because I thought I was just going to be a recording artist. So being able to do all of the live stuff as well. I, it was quite funny. On the day I launched the Didi project, I wasn't sure if I was going to gig live. Mm. And I was driving past a different studio. And then as I drove past, there was a pub with an open mic that was local to mine. And I was like, I've just made, I physically made my own pedal board like, and, and put all of the stuff on it and everything. So I was like, maybe I should gig it. And I went to this open mic and that's the Jolly Wagner in Ardley. And it went down a storm. I got encored three times. Like, I didn't even have enough songs. They were all my own songs. And then I ended up being asked to do another show there supporting Baron Good Love and the Terrible yeah. Noise, oh. which is awesome. awesome. And then, and then from that gig, I then got asked to do another headline show there and then headline the festival. And that was in the Good space God. of like two weeks. And then I've got loads of festival, a few festivals booked up and all of this stuff. Like, so I, I gig solo, but with a stupid pedal board load with loads of, of loops load of and gear, load of stuff right. like that. Where can people find you? Where can people keep in touch and get these gig dates then, this tour? Well, my... <laughs> I'm not going to go into why I couldn't do my name as official, but um, <laughs> my handle is I am DD Music. I am DD. Spelled D-I-D-I yes. Music. Apologies for the confusion about six weeks ago, but we... I just looked at the <laughs> script die, die. and went, she's been telling me about this for a few weeks, and I looked at it and went, I've never asked her, is it die, die, <laughs> DD? And I know you're the deacon, but I was like, I don't know. Yeah, so we had a, we had a, sorry, a no. kind of car crash moment there. That was funny. I am DD Music, and from there yeah. you'll find you on Twitter, Facebook. Yeah, and my website is just ddmusic.co.uk. D-I-D-I-music.co.uk. Should we play your track? That would be fantastic. This is Awkward. It's BBC introducing this is DD. Have you ever had words put in your mouth? Talking for you, filling spaces you want to 